Have you ever rehabbed a house before? Have you ever done a house flip? If not, I think you're going to want to pay attention to today's show. I'm going to show you how a professional house flipper, or a professional investor, <laughs> tripping over my words. Yeah, I'm a professional house flipper. I'm a professional investor. Apparently, I'm not a professional speaker, right? I'm going to show you how I quickly analyze uh, and put together a rehab budget just from the comfort of my studio here, just online, just like that. You guys can take this and apply it to your own investments. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Your boy, Jay Wise, working for my client, Terry, right? Terry's from Maryland. I'm helping him invest uh, invest in properties in Ohio. Market's a lot cheaper. What we're doing today, Terry, is I'm going to break down a flip opportunity for you and everybody else that's watching. You could apply what I'm going to teach him to flips in your own market. I'm going to show you guys how to quickly analyze the property and determine uh, the rehab costs and the rehab budget, right? That's a big unknown for a lot of people getting into house flipping. You're like, dude, I don't know what it's going to cost. Save this video because I'm going to give you a whole chart showing you exactly what you're going to spend. And this for you, Terry. I know you're probably like, whoa, dude, flipping houses. What are we doing, Jay Wise? Well, Terry, I've been paying attention to what we got going on. And we're trying to do different strategies, trying to build up your capital because you're running into a little traditional lender issues here. So I figured with you focusing on some uh, bird deals, why don't we go one step further and actually flip out? Right. Let's flip. Let's get you some big old chunks of profit so you can eventually get those long term rentals you've been trying to get. Let's jump into the details on how to put together a flip, a rehab budget and ARV right after this. (laughs) Welcome back, folks. Now, this one, this is a pretty interesting flip. It's got the opportunity to make some money. Now, I'm sure. The first thing that you're thinking as you look at this property is, hot damn, that's one ugly house, and it is. I don't know why anybody would color their house that color. Usually when we do flips, like this is like kind of like an entry-level flip, like a first-time home buyer type flip. I don't really spend too much time worrying about the exterior. Oftentimes, I feel like in the lower space, right, the under 200K ARV, uh, you get people that just fall in love with the interiors, and you don't need to really spend a lot of money on the exterior of the home. Oftentimes, the kitchen and the bath is where you get the biggest bang for your buck. But in this particular house, it's just... Like, ooh, it's got to go. So we will uh, we will address that, okay? And, of course, inside, right, the kitchen, you know, it's a whole mess. I believe what we have here is an estate sale. And estate sales are great opportunities uh, for us to flip homes, right? Nobody's living there. It appears the person who was living there passed away. It hasn't been renovated in a very long time. This is exactly the type of flip we want, right? You got to go through this thing and do it all. But don't worry. I'm going to break down the exact budget for you, okay, as well as the ARV. Now, this is a very important picture as well. You might be thinking like, oh, cool, a little basement, a little party area, a little hangout. The buyers are going to dig this, right? But there's two big issues uh, that I see in this photograph, right? The first one is you got some issues with that ceiling, that drop ceiling. It's like yellowed, okay, discolored, missing some tiles. So we're going to have to replace that. Right. And then the floor, what you may not really know is this tiling. I don't know for a fact, but I'm about 99 percent sure that is asbestos tiling. So we're going to need to encapsulate that if that is disturbed, like you start breaking it up and stuff and all the dust gets up. That is it's poisonous. It's bad. Right. We don't need to remove it. We can encapsulate it, which means we're going to lay a vinyl floor over it. Right. So. The house, it's an ugly duckling, but that's what we want, folks. That's what we want. So how is this whole renovation going to work, right? Well, what we need to do is purchase this home for seventy grand. That, in my opinion, is the price we need to purchase this thing for, $70,000. Because we're going to put $71,500 into it, right? Now, $71,500, what is that going to entail? We'll pull up the other chart. This is the more detailed version, right? We're going to go through this house. 
Of course, we're going to have to patch any holes, repaint any walls in the house. We should be spending about five on that. We're going to be doing refinished hardwood floors, right? The home has re, uh, hardwood floors throughout. As you saw from the pictures, we'll be refinishing those. Now, the basement is separate, right? We're going to be... Uh, <clears throat> going to be encapsulating that asbestos flooring in half of that basement. So we're looking at about 2K, 2K for that, right? We'll also spend another 2K doing another drop ceiling in the basement, right? And then the kitchen, we're going to be dropping about 15 grand. Now, one thing to note about the main floor, it's going to be all hardwood everywhere except for the kitchen and the bath. Those will be matching vinyl flooring, which guess what? That's going to match the vinyl flooring that we're also going to use to encapsulate the asbestos flooring in the basement, right? Then we got those two bathrooms. The rest of the work we're going to do in the two baths, we're going to bang one out with the custom shower, do just like a one-piece surround on the other shower. So we're looking at about 15 for that. As I mentioned earlier, the outside, a lot of times in these small little under $200,000 homes, because remember, we're going for first-time home buyers here, folks. We're only trying to sell it for one hundred eighty-five k. That is a very cheap house in the grand scheme of things. Normally, we don't need to mess uh, with the outside, but here I think it's necessary. So we're going to go ahead and budget in another 7500 for the vinyl siding. Three for the furnace, three for the AC, 1000 for the hot water tank, and another eight or so for the windows. That is how you get to 71 and a half. I know a lot of people, a lot of new home flippers specifically, they look at a house like this and they would be shocked to see that they could really get up to $70,000 of repairs, right? That's why videos like this are important. That's why working with professional home flippers like my team is important, right? What I just did for you, identifying two things, those are the two most difficult things to identify. The ARV, right? And I know the ARV because I know this neighborhood like the back of my hand. I've sold $200 million worth of investment real estate, right? So when you work with me, I handle the ARV for you, right? I come up with that. And the second thing is giving you a reasonable expectation for your bid, right? New flippers, what do y'all do? You usually overestimate your ARV and you underestimate your rehab. <laughs> that is a recipe for disaster. So if you're looking at similar homes like this in your own home market, you can utilize... Uh, some of what I just give you, right? Because a lot of people, they look at houses like this and they would have no idea. Is this a $20,000 rental, a $30,000 rental? I don't know. What you see in today's pricing, 2022, post-COVID, inventory shortage, supply chain shortage, labor shortage, you're looking at 71 and a half, which is why you can't offer them the 100 they're asking. You think, oh man, the ARV is 85 grand more uh, then what they're asking, this must be a steal. Not really. You got to come in at 70 because you got to factor in that $71,500 reno. When you sell it at 185, your agents ain't doing it for free, right? Cost on that's going to be $12,950. You got closing costs, $18,50, right? So by going with the $70,000 bid, we could come in at 28700 in estimated profit, right? And that's nice because if you look at my bid, I gave you the low value of 71, and then worst case scenario, it could jump up to 88. There are going to be some unknowns when you're doing a big rehab like this, so I've kind of given you that nice bubble, right? By offering 70, we protect ourselves. If we do not come in on budget at 71, which I do believe we probably would, but hey, never say never in the real estate business. I left us such a wide uh, margin for error that if we do go over or perhaps we end up selling for a couple thousand dollars less than the ARV, we'll still eke out of this thing with a little bit of profit. Now, I believe the most likely scenario that if we pick it up at 70, we will have you make the 28, but you want to focus on one thing before you focus on your return on your investment. That is your return of investment, which is why I don't think it makes any sense to pay more than $70,000. But this neighborhood, this is a pretty nice neighborhood. Uh, it's Parma, Ohio. It's what I consider a B-grade neighborhood. If you're interested in knowing what that means, check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods below, uh, where I graded all the neighborhoods on, in the Cleveland market on an A to F scale. I think uh, this would be a pretty quick, easy flip to do. But again, it's all going to come down to getting it for that right price. And what they're asking, 100K, that's not the right price. In my opinion, we got to get that down to 70. This, folks, is how you properly analyze the flip deal. Let me know if you want me to write up that offer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.